You stabilize the patient, make sure that they're safe for the 40 minutes to one hour transfer, and then hopefully they you do a good enough job that they can make it to the hospital and have a chance to survive. When you go to West Mosul, where the trauma stabilization point is only a few kilometers away from the front line, and you can see the helicopters bombing from above, and you hear the shooting all the time. We'll get patients coming in, you know, usually five or six at a time, sometimes ten at a time. It's hard to keep the focus and the team to stay organized and work together under those circumstances. and so. You just have to learn how to block out a lot of that scary, those scary thoughts, those scary sounds, and just focus on the patient in front of you. It's never easy to see that kind of suffering and, and know that there's only so much you can do. You should never be comfortable or used to that sort of thing, I think. It's, it's just the human toll is immeasurable.